Welcome, my friends, to the Quake 100% walkthrough for the PC, played through Steam on the Nightmare difficulty setting. If you are playing this game on an easier difficulty setting, don't worry, this walkthrough will still apply to you even if you are playing on easy, normal, or hard, because all that's really changed are the numbers of enemies in the maps and the fact that the enemies do more damage to you as well. Other than that, it's exactly the same game, so if you want a walkthrough that shows 100% of the kills, 100% of the secrets, and also the best strategies to make it through each section of every single level, you've come to the right place. This is my 100% walkthrough for Quake. Without further ado, let's just jump right in. This is Episode 1, Dimension of the Doomed. And this is E1M1, the Slipgate Complex. Welcome to Quake, everybody. Here we go. So this is a hub world of sorts. It's called Introduction. There are no monsters and no secrets. Our goal for the hub world is literally to choose our difficulty setting. This hall selects easy skill. Very happy. Nothing dangerous. This hall selects normal skill. A little bit more menacing, as we see. This hall selects hard skill. Oh yeah. Very menacing, as we see. Now, it doesn't matter what difficulty you choose. You have to jump over this pit if you want to do hard, though. But I'm going to go through normal. Because I'm going to go to nightmare eventually. And we get taken to another hub world, where this time we have to choose our episode. We start with, this is the first episode, Dimension of the Doomed, the mystical past comes alive. This is the second episode, the realm of black magic, ancient castles and strange beasts ahead. This is the third episode, The Netherworld, Primal Fear, in a Strange Dimension. This is the fourth episode, The Elder World, Your Worst Nightmares Come True. Now the word nightmares indicates that this is the episode that has the nightmare difficulty, and it's inside the water. Now what I do, you have to land on a beam to get to Nightmare, so what I do is I just hug the left over here until I fall on a couple of beams right here. Now if you fall off by accident, there is a two-sided slip gate. It doesn't matter which one you take. They both take you back to the episode hub world and you can try again. Now down the passageway this passage selects Nightmare Skill. This is the one that we want. And by the way, if you shoot this switch, the Well of Wishes awaits in the Crypt of Decay. If you don't know what that means, don't worry, but keep that in mind for a future level. Let's take it. Nightmare. We're back at the episode screen. Except this time we're on Nightmare. This is the first episode, Dimension of the Doomed. The mystical past comes alive. Walk into the slip gate to start playing Quake. Let's do it. All right, the slip gate complex, 42 monsters and six secrets. Let's get to it. There is a grunt on the right that we will quickly butcher and grab his backpack of five shells. Now on the right is a flashing ledge that we can jump into. Shoot this secret door. Or to save ammo, we'll just use the axe. To open up our very first secret, which contains the shells. So we will grab those. 
Now also on the right further up is another grunt that we can butcher. Now there is a way up to the non-secret area up there. You have to use this stepping ledge to get up there though. But once you're up here you can get the shells and also the green armor. Now the green armor will give you 100 armor points and it will absorb 30% of the damage you take. Very handy to know. Inside the door we will press the button to lower down the elevator and we come outside to a bunch more grunts and a new enemy. The Rottweiler. Oh, the poor sweetnesses. I don't want to kill no sweetnesses. Unfortunately, that's exactly what I had to do, but look how much blood that this Rottweiler has sunk his teeth into. He needed to be put down. He's happier in Doggo Heaven anyway. I am under 100% health, as you can see, but I can't pick up the, the health. And that's because this is Nightmare. I can't pick up any health if I'm over 50. And I have a max health of 50. Cross the bridge to get some more health if you need it. We won't go through this door just yet to the next building. But rather, let's jump inside the water and swim into the cave. And what's inside the cave? Another grunt and a secret area with 100 health. This gives you 100 extra health points, but then it will drain back to your original number. This door opens elsewhere. We'll come through on the other side, and you'll see how that will be. For right now, let's continue on. Ride the elevator. And go through the door back to where we grab the green armor. So we'll go back down to the outside, and now we'll go through the door. We'll blow up the explosive canister and kill more enemies and more sweetness Rottweilers that need to be put down. We'll head to the right in a little bit. For right now, let's take advantage of the extra health that we got right now as it's draining and we'll kill the enemies up above on the bridge. And we'll go under the bridge, yeah. This is something you don't usually see in Doom at all, but in Quake, you can walk under bridges, oh yes. We'll take advantage of our health number and butcher all these enemies in front of us. And for the heck of it, we'll press the button because we see some slime. Now slime will do damage to you, so don't step in it. But the button will extend a bridge for us to cross. But let's go back to that pillar that we saw earlier. Right here. Now on the back side of it, up against this ledge, we'll stand right here and we'll shoot the earth monitor. And that will raise us up. We'll shoot the next Earth Monitor to open up a secret area with a quad damage. So, let's grab it. It only lasts for 30 seconds, so we must run to that bridge that we extended and do a whole lot of butchering. Oh yeah, that feels good. It quadruples the amount of damage you do. And that's as far as we will go for right now. But look at all the butchery we did. Holy smokes. Now we'll go back to do some more investigating. Because we have this lift to ride up on. To take us across the bridge. Now the lights are turned on until you grab the nail gun back up and switch to the shotgun and we'll butcher a couple more grunts and grab the nine inch nails. Nine N-I-N was written on the nails. 
there's more nails coming up. I'll let you guys look at that real quick later on. Kind of humorous. So now, on this bridge that we extended, there is a target in the pipe that we can shoot to open up a secret double-barreled shotgun. Very nice to have in this game. One of my favorite weapons to use. Now down at the bottom of the ramps, you'll come to a locked door. You must press the three buttons. So let's go and do that. Only two more to go. Only one more to go. Sequence completed. Now we'll come back to the third button in a little bit. For right now we'll kill the one grunt that appeared behind the now unlocked door. Now about this upper alcove where there was a grunt up there, we see the little stepping stones leading up to it and we have to use the light and the button to get up there. So we'll jump on the light and then from the light we'll just run on the button and then jump to the bottom step. Being very careful not to hit this step and fall into the slime. If you do there is a way out and the slime doesn't do a whole lot of damage. We'll grab the 100 health and we will take advantage of this 100 health and do a whole lot of butchering with our super shotgun. Oh yeah! Oh, I didn't... I grabbed the nails by accident, but if you rewind the video you can see it said N-I-N on there. Now back here there is a bio suit that we will grab and then jump into the slime. The bio suit protects you from slime like this, but also allows you to breathe under the slime and underwater as well. We'll find an opening out of here, right here. And we'll swim up into the hole and get ourselves a yellow armor. Now yellow armor will give you 150 armor points but will also absorb 60% of the damage and not 30%. Very handy to know. For some reason it teleports you up here, so we'll just drop down. Now there are a couple of extra ways into secret areas. The first of which is on your way back to the ramp section. On the right side you can shoot this wall and it will open up to take you back to the area with the quad damage. See, here's the pillar that we shot. Very interesting. There's also one more like that as well. Exit. And there it is. There's the exit slip gate, which we will go through, but on the right side, curiously enough, you can shoot this wall to open up the area that leads back to the 100 health and the water that we treaded earlier. Remember how I said we come through on the other side? Well, we did exactly that. And no, you can't go through here just yet until you get to the exit, and then you can. Completed the Slipgate Complex. All kills and all secrets done. For an opener map, this is a really fun map, especially if you know where the secrets are. If you get the secrets, generally speaking with Quake, there are two specific power-ups, actually maybe three specific power-ups, one we haven't seen yet, so we'll get to that when we get to it. But in this level, there are two specific power-ups that basically make me play at a faster pace because I take advantage of the qualities it gives me. The first of which being the 100 health. 
it boosts you up by 100 so if you have 50 health now you have 150 it will drain so, uh, you, you know gradually so you want to take advantage of that you want to do a push forward combat sort of thing until you drop back down to 50 to 50 at that point you just want to stop pushing forward because you will end up dying that way the second power up that you want to do a push forward combat is with the quad damage especially oh my gosh you can do a lot of damage and you can progress through a lot of these levels if you're fast enough with the quad damage quads are very fun to use in this game for sure so those are the two power-ups that you want to do a push forward combat sort of thing once you're done pushing forward generally what I will do in these levels is after I push forward I will backtrack a little bit to clean up a little bit of what I missed including extra secrets extra health weapons and stuff like that as you saw here in this level I did some backtracking after I pushed forward with the power-ups just to let you guys know that that's what to expect in this walkthrough anyways let's move on to the next map castle of the damned but that will be for next time so until next time I'm Big Mac Davis here and I will see you in more of the quake 100% walkthrough so take care everybody I'll see you then